Hello, epic viewers from around the multiverse. Pretty basket, unprecedented glory, because today, an NFL epic review of Spotted Fans. What figures will I be reviewing without further ado, without further delay, without further procrastination? Let's allow the frivolities to commence. I'm going to be reviewing the one and only two pack that features a notorious, sadistic, malicious, malign, malevolent, cunning, conniving devil in conjunction with the one and only mischievous, devious. Harley Quinn Demon, are these action figures paradigms of resounding perfection? Are they abysmal? Or are they characterized by insipid mediocrity? In my objective opinion, as a totality, I'd raise this two-pack to be a 9 of 10. Why? These action figures have high-quality sculpts, high-quality decals, high-quality shadings, high-quality designs, and high-quality aesthetics. These action figures are paradigms of resounding perfection. They embody their movie counterparts. I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. It tickles my fancy, it piques my interest, is able to keep me engrossed in ineffable epicness beyond explanation. So I love this um, sinister grin that the um, devil figurine is sporting. Do you love his visage? I sure shall do. He has dilated eyes. They're enlarged. Um, the Harley Quinn figure, on the other hand, has beady little pupils, so it's a nice contrast. These figurines are quite special, to say the least. They're meticulously detailed, to say the least. Um, the Harley Quinn looks like he's poised for bad and ready to devour his adversaries. These action figures also come with a myriad of accessories, such as a table, a uh, hammer, chisel, um, a flying cauldron and a present as well as other possible accessories that are relegated to the back of the packaging. I love the packaging. These figurines were churned out by Diamond Select Toys, one of the few action figure companies that's able to deliver unprecedented value for the customer's hard-earned cash. Um, these action figures were sculpted by Cortez, a legendary, lustrous, revered, venerated sculptor who deserves accolades of the highest merit. He's a meritorious sculptor in every facet. Um, let's look at this um, Harley Quinn figure. I love how tentacles are protruding out. I love how the devil's nose is um, elongated. Um, these figures are just quite unique and special, and um, they're anything but obtuse. They're anything but asinine. They may be inanimate objects. They may not be cognizant. In spite of all that, um, they are special. Um, from my perspective, um, and from the perspective of others who are avid about Nightmare Before Christmas fans, they can truly see um, unprecedented merit offered in this two-pack. For $25, you should consider buying it. You'd be supporting a great cause. You get two robust, high-quality figurines. They could have been improved in terms of articulation, but they have articulation in the requisite areas, even though they're devoid of elbow joints, knee joints, finger joints, but they can still um, swivel their arms, they can ascend and descend their legs, their heads can seemingly rotate, so they may not have latitude for dynamic possibility, but it's unnecessary. They're um, display items, and they're part of the seven inch scale, which provides a greater canvas for um, design and detail. So these figures are intricately detailed to say the least. Um, they truly emulate and embody um, their movie counterparts, so they'll resonate eminently well with you if you're a hardcore Halloween fan, as I am. And who doesn't want to add um, more demon characters, more demonic characters, more um, mischievous characters that are more like novelty items to their shells, feast your eyes in glory, and look at this um, devil and Harley Quinn demon two-pack. I'm so um, gleeful, I'm so jubilant and elated and euphoric since I got this um, two-pack. It's truly um, boosted my mood to say the least. When I buy abysmal figures, it puts a damper on my mood and causes my happiness to plunge in, into the abyss. But um, when I use a $8 Toby's Marvel Legends action figure as a benchmark for comparison that had a high quality sculpt, that had high quality shadings, high quality textures, high quality aesthetics, high quality accessories and that he bundled with a comic book in, in conjunction with um, a stellar, um, robust, state of the art, 
build a figure piece for a bulky, colossal, hefty, massive 14 to 16 inch build a figure. I'd have to rate these figures a 9 out of 10. The only downside is they're um, lacking articulation wise, even though they have articulation in all the necessary areas. Could have been improved as diaphragm joints, finger joints, etc. Furthermore, um, other Enhancements could have been made to um, augment the values of purchase. It could have came with additional accessories, but I can't complain. You're getting at least four accessories, two figures for 25, and um, plus tax. Um, assuming you live in the state, the levy sales tax plus the back is um, wonderful as well. Diamond Select Toys um, truly did it. Um, they uh, hit all cylinders with this two pack. Could have gone wrong for sure this um, two pack and I have no qualms about it. I love to give them a 10 out of 10 but I just kind of indicate giving them a 10 out of 10 when the um, Toby's Marvel Legends Juggernaut and Deadpool retail for 8 plus tax. The Deadpool came from of those dupe. Juggernaut was massive and you could have gotten 3 Juggernaut figures, 3 comics for less than the retail price of those two packs. Even though those two pack is extraordinary so nothing against Diamond Select Toys and I understand that the cost of raw materials have gone up but it's just not on par with um, a Tobis Marvel Legends action figure in terms of value offered um, even though it's um, the, next, the next best thing um, to have been on par with the value that um, Toy Biz offered um, these were literally at the sale for um, $15 or less so that's how much value Toy Biz offered and too bad they're defunct um, it is what it is Hasbro has um, taken over the reins of the um, Marvel Legends license and they've um, bastardized um, the um, line their figures are abysmal, appalling, utterly egregious and are shoddy and chintzy relative to the Tobis Marvel Legends and they increase the price by at least 250% so Hasbro um, deserves a 0 out of 10 um, but these action figures deserve a 9 out of 10 um, the Toy Biz didn't exist and then I give them a 10 out of 10 but when I use the 8 dollar Tobis Marvel Legends action figures as benchmarks for comparison I'm rating these, um, this pack um, as an aggregate as one cohesive um, unit you know or one cohesive two pack to be uh, 9 of 10. I hope that you found this video to be fascinating and enthralling. Have a wonderful, marvelous, blissful, glorious day. Goodbye. Alrighty, we're done. Let's see here. Time to record more videos.